Right, um, I just want to actually walk through with you a couple of slides on how to succeed in this course. Now, there are a couple of prerequisites that is actually provided in the course description. Um, I will not be going through with the installation of softwares. Uh, there are a lot of packages involved here uh, from XGBoost, uh, from uh, SKLearn, from Python. Um, I basically, I advocate use of Anaconda. It makes my life so much easy. It makes your life so much easy, uh, easier without having to worry about installing different libraries. And the second thing is that I make full use of the Quantopian platform because all the data uh, are there. I can just get on there and demonstrate to you and you can just copy and paste my code and run with it. All right. Um, the other thing is that with regard to the tips here is do take notes. Um, and write and post your questions as frequently and whenever you do get stuck. And realize that most exercises would take days to complete. Uh, it used to take me weeks, but as I get better and better, I can, it will just take me a couple of hours after I actually have come up with an idea. Do be an active learner. Write your own code. Don't just watch passively. Before you look at my code, look at how I tackle and solve a problem in writing the code, try to think of how you will actually solve this problem yourself using Python, using Pandas, all the libraries available. And this is the part that is really, really valuable. Otherwise, all that you, uh, your learning will stop as soon as you finish watching this video. Everything that you've learned is basically where your boundary is going to be. You, will be able, you won't be able to step outside of that. So the purpose of all of these is to actually equip you for you to be much more creative, to actually be able to create strategies that work for you. Now, what if I do not meet the prerequisites, such as Python? Please go back and study those parts. Uh, assume some foundational finance knowledge as well. Make sure you learn them before you proceed with this course. Now, this course combines domain knowledge from finance, programming, uh, make use of Python, and as well as data science. Now, each domain usually takes three to four years of undergraduate degree to master. Now, because of the vast knowledge required, it is impossible for me to jam all the contents into one course. So my part here is to just go straight in. The best thing I could do is just to highlight where the strengths of machine learning is and to highlight the areas in finance that this can be used and how to speed up the normal quant development process. Now, a wise man once said, do not give up when you come across difficult or error in programming. That is actually the norm. It happens all the time. The reality check, it takes time to solve difficult problems and often you solve them by parts. And that's how you learn to solve problems. The more you do, the better you get. The whole idea of finance and programming and investment is about problem solving. Once you get the hang of it, there's no problems that you cannot solve going forward. So that's more than anything, it's not just about the Python, it's not just about the finance, it's not just about the machine learning. It's about understanding the problem and how to find tools to solve the problem that you are faced with.